Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What up y'all, it's the Black Critter Guy, and in anticipation for the upcoming Dark Knight Rises, I present a week-long review of the last six um, Batman movies that came before Dark Knight Rises, starting with the decent ones, the bad ones, and the really great ones. And we're kicking it off with the 1989 Tim Burton film, Batman. So the basic plot of Batman is it basically folds Batman as he goes beat up criminals and he's this cape crusader and he got to stop the Joker from taking over Gotham. That is the basic plot of Batman. Now in watching this movie, again, since I've already seen The Dark Knight, I kind of do make the comparison between Jack Nicholson and Heath Ledger's Joker. And for the time that it came out, Jack Nicholson killed it as the Joker. Compared to Heath Ledger, it's a much more darker take on the character as you know, Nick, Jack Nicholson's character is more of a whimsical, lighthearted, but maniacal take on the Joker. And he did it flawlessly. I mean, when you think of the Joker, you think of this silly but insanely maniacal villain who can basically do whatever he wants. He can just tear shit up and he won't give a damn about it. And that's what I thought Jack Nicholson's Joker portrayed in this movie. And he has some of the coolest and funniest lines and the coolest scenes in this movie. Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> Like I could tell, Jack Nicholson was just having fun with this role and just going around acting all silly. I mean, to be paid $50 million to just goof around on set, that's the dream, man. And say what you must, but I actually like Michael Keaton as Batman. Though the problem I have with this movie is that Batman felt such a secondary character in his own movie. The movie's called Batman. Batman shows up four times in the movie. Just four times in the movie. But when he shows up as Batman, man does he kick a lot of ass. Now the story is as simple as it can be. It's just Batman going around beating up on criminals, trying to stop the Joker. And actually you get like an origin story of how the Joker came to be, which is somewhat related in the comics because that's one of the origin stories of how the Joker became the Joker. He fell into that bat of acid and it drove him insane. Alright, now the problems of the movie. Now I know this movie was made in a different time, so what was considered like dark and gruesome back then is not considered dark and gruesome right now so the comparison there you don't need to make it but for the time that it came out I guess it could have been called dark and gruesome I mean there's a lot of death in this movie like they Batman of all people kills people in this movie you know and I was like that really goes against the Batman lore but again you know this is Tim Burton we're talking about he's He's like, oh, it's a dark character, let's go. The only problem I have with Tim Burton, not in his directing style, but he always focuses on the villains more than he does on the hero. Like, he, he is, like, infatuated with the villains. And it's gonna, I'm gonna mention it, too, in my Batman Returns review, but he always focuses on the villains. Now, my biggest problem with the movie is that the minor characters range from being completely annoying or useless to wasted potential. And what I mean by that is there's these two reporter characters. I honestly think they could have been easily taken out of the movie because one was this annoying, like, comic relief character guy who just didn't serve no point to the plot. And then you got the love interest, Vicky, who is your typical damsel in distress. She gets captured by the villain. She goes, ah! throughout the entire movie, just screaming, yelling, whining, and Bitching. And then you got characters like Commissioner Gordon and Harvey Dent who were very prominent in the Batman universe and they're just wasted potential. I mean, they're just pushed to the sidelines. Especially Harvey Dent. All he ever does is stand around like, well, we gotta get Batman and figure out what's going on and stop this Joker guy from doing stuff. Now, he didn't talk like that, but basically that's the point. He just stood around and he didn't do nothing. And Commissioner Gordon, they could have done so much with that character. And he was just... Blah, wasted. Also, the chemistry between characters was lacking. I wanted them to really highlight the fact that Alfred is not only Bruce's butler, but he's also like this companion and also one of his mentors that helps him through this hard struggle. And it, it didn't seem like that. It just felt like he was the butler and he had to go get his coat and tell him to go into the back cave. It, I didn't feel a connection with them. And also with Bruce and Vicky, no love connection at all. It just dragged and dragged and you didn't care. So overall, Batman had some decent acting with one exception with Jack Nicholson killing it as a Joker. No one really played their roles really badly. It's just no one else really impressed besides Jack Nicholson. The visuals, I guess, for the time were okay. The story's just eh. 
I, the whole movie to me is just eh, it's okay, it's nothing really that special. And I really don't think it can really stand the test of time because it's extremely dated. The violence and the action and stuff extremely dated. And you could almost say I'm being a little biased because, you know, again, I was raised in a different era of, you know, how Batman is taken now. He's more darker and more brutal and all that stuff. So, compared to today's standards, it's just like a mild version of Batman. Anyone who's ever seen, like, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight probably would not really go out and see this movie or would not even find that much enjoyment. But for the movie itself, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 stars. Eh. It's okay. If you never see the first 1989 Tim Burton Batman, no one's going to beat you up for it. But anyway, what did you guys think of this movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you grow up with this movie? Did you get to see it in theaters? Comment below and let me know. And also, let me know who is your favorite Batman villain. Honestly, the Joker will forever be my favorite Batman villain. Whoever plays him, Mark Hamill, Jack Nicholson, or Heath Ledger, he's always awesome. Comment below and let me know. Anyway, I'm the Black Critic Guy, bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews. Till then, peace YouTube.